right, we're going. Hi guys, it's Trent Goodmanson here. Um, it's been a little while since I've made a video. Um, you may have seen my last video where I kind of uh, reintroduced this new thing I was trying with my art. You saw a lot of yellow. Um, for those of you who didn't see it, quick, uh, <laughs> really brief, just showing you kind of what I've been uh, doing with that. Turn that sideways for a sec. Anyway. Um, real uh, palette knifey stuff. Um, I've kind of gotten away from the yellow. I guess you could call it, you know, my yellow period. You know, artists famously have blue and red periods. <laughs> if you took art history in college, um, but this was a very brief uh, yellow period. I, I, again, I kind of considered it experimental, just um, breaking my own um, boundaries, barriers that I had placed on myself accidentally over the years, and I've gone more. Um, towards this now, more, at least slightly more naturalistic colors, um, but with the uh, very obvious palette knife uh, strokes. My wife and I have been calling it the deconstructed version of, of reality. You know, I, I paint uh, more or less, um, like I said, the natural colors, but I've been, you know, simplifying it with the palette knife. I really like that thick stuff. And then, um, you know, playing with uh, a variety of, of brushwork, a um, variety of edges, soft and hard edges, and just kind of going a little bit, I don't know, rough or, or un, undone. I don't know, what, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows how to, the art history books <laughs> can someday help me figure it out. Um, this is what I'm working on now. Um, this, is 48 by 24, so four by two feet. Um, I recently, meaning just a week or so, a week and a half maybe ago, got a call from the owner of one of my galleries. Um, it's the Signature Gallery, um, who I recently signed on with this, this past spring. Uh, so I haven't been with them um, a whole year yet. And uh, uh, with them in their Santa Fe and Scottsdale locations. And uh, anyway, so it's exciting that I um, have been just kind of feeling, feeling it out, but I recently got this call from the owner. He says, uh, says hey, we, I don't usually do this. I don't usually call the, call the uh, artists personally. I leave that up to the, to the managers of the locations. He says, but I just wanted to let you know, and this is so exciting to me, that uh, it says, first of all, consider yourself part of the uh, Laguna Beach, California location now. And I've been trying to get in Laguna Beach um, in any gallery for forever. <laughs> Not any gallery. And I, granted, I did actually um, approach one one gallery uh, relatively recently and uh, didn't feel great about it after after I got talking to them. So I uh, didn't. Uh, not willing to just go with anything. Anyway, <laughs> um, this gallery that I am working with, with this family of galleries, um, in my opinion, they're at just one of the greatest spots um, in town, in that town. And uh, my, my work fit in there, but they didn't quite have room for me. They didn't want to make room for me. My work wasn't quite maybe uh, sellable enough. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, they said, uh, you're part of that gallery. Uh, particularly, we want your uh, ballerinas. I uh, don't have any finished ones to show you because I've already sent them off. You can go to my website and see those, though. It's just my name.com, Um And uh, anyway, he says, also, it says, start sending us more and more of these ballerinas. I had done a, a, a series of six uh, little eight by eight ones, you know, just tiny studies. It took me an hour each or less, kind of for this uh, Christmas promotional thing they're doing down at Scottsdale and, and in Santa Fe. Anyway, he says he says we want some more, and uh, says don't even bother taking photos of them first. We don't need to see photos first. Just take photos for your own reference, and you know, send them on, send them on their way. We'll take whatever you have. Um, any of you who work with galleries know that that can be a very rare thing, something that you work towards for a long time uh, to be in, in this um, kind of, to feel like you're in, in demand a little bit is, is really just, just does a lot for self-esteem. 
So I'm very excited about that. Um, wanted to share that with you guys. Again, we'll just look at this, uh, what I'm doing here. So I've, um, this is only the third big one um, that I've worked on uh, since those original 8x8s. I've already sent off um, two ballerinas and one piano player, um, similar type of subject. But uh, so this is at the point where I would have taken it uh, previous to my, I don't know, my experimental stage of going more uh, loose, I don't know, more undone. Actually, I would have taken it for probably farther than this. I would have ruined it by putting uh, too much um, detail in it. You can see uh, uh, future stocking stuffers there. <laughs> I don't really indulge in chocolate <laughs> like that. That's for the kids. Anyway, um, but I've I've not brought this painting to to that really fine polished finished stage, and I'm not going to. I'm going to now start to undo it. So what I mean, and I'm not going to do a full demonstration here uh, by any means, but I just wanted to quickly show you the kind of thing that I'm doing. I'm really just, I'm, I'm painting with my view through the, uh, through the screen here. So what I'm, my goal here is to make some just applied texture, some real three-dimensional qualities to it. Also, you'll notice this. I'm trying to um, bring the the edge work to a point where, in a lot of places, you can't really tell what's in the foreground and what's in the background. I sort of like that that um, I don't know, just the feeling of it of it being part of a just a scene. It's not really. I don't want it to be a portrait as much as it is just part of um, you know the ballerina the whatever figure it is that I happen to be painting is just part of this whole scene, part of this landscape, if you will. So I've done that. Let's see. Kind of blur the edge. So this is, this is where I really have fun. Um, it'll take me a while. Uh, to do this if I were to <laughs> to hold the camera the whole time. It's uh, a little bit more of a let loose and uh, go with wherever my my heart takes me um, kind of a thing. Um, so it's actually really difficult to, to do this um, while holding the camera or while talking or thinking about anything else. But if I, but this is the point at which I am able to just uh, really let loose and have fun. And I encourage you, if you're an artist, to maybe uh, allow yourself the opportunity to, to have fun with it. There's nothing quite as rewarding, I would say, on a very uh, basic, almost instinctual level uh, as, as uh, I think that's rewarding as just putting down color and paint, just letting the paint be paint and having fun with complete abstraction. You know, I'll always be, be a realist or a, uh, you know, a representational painter because I just can't get myself away from that. Too much beauty in the world to, to depict, and it's already been done. So I might as well take take that as a jumping off point, and then really have uh, have fun with it around. You know that stands out right now. But I I'm kind of kind of gonna go for a uh, oh what do you call it um, where the edges are darker. I can't think of the word. You probably thought of it real quick. Anyway. Um, just wanted to share with you my good news about the, the gallery. I'm super excited about that. And, uh, and just share with you real quickly what I'm working on. So uh, check out my work on my website if you'd like. Uh, most of it is there. And uh, tune in next time when uh, I, I plan on doing um, a demonstration um, soon. 
uh, again, it is really hard to to just let loose and do this while I'm holding a camera. But if I can figure out a, a better way to set this up, um, I have actually been enjoying using my iPhone instead of my my nicer uh, digital SLR camera. Uh, that one is a better camera, and uh, you know it does make better videos. But I'll reserve that for when I I make uh, official downloads that you guys can purchase. Uh, they won't be expensive, but uh, I've decided that it, I definitely need to make some <laughs> money uh, if I'm gonna uh, take the time to, to download and edit um, a nice video. Anyway, that's neither, neither here nor there. That's not what I meant to talk about. Anyway, uh, quick video here. Uh, thanks for joining me, and uh, talk to you later. Bye.